Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie, also known as your BFF Steph. And if you're new here, I discuss small business and entrepreneurship on my channel. I mainly focus on photo booths, trucking, dispatching, passive income, and different side hustles. For today's video, we are gonna be discussing questions you should ask potential customers before they book your photo booth. So if you haven't done so already, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Please also follow me on Instagram at your.bff.stuff and let's get straight into it. So the first thing you should be asking your potential customer is where the event is located. That is the number one question. Depending on how you're marketing your services, you might get customers from all over the place. You don't want them to assume that you're located where they are and you don't want to assume that they're located where you are. For me, I'm located in New York City, so I off top ask people where they're located because people might be located in New York, but they might be upstate New York, like hours away from the city. So I like to know exactly where the location is first before we even get into discussing anything else. The next thing you want to know, the date. If your bookings are not automated, you definitely want to check your calendar to be sure you can even cover the event no matter where it is. So you definitely want to ask them for the date and the time. So location, date, and time are the top questions before you discuss anything else. You want to make sure this is something that you can do and that you even want to do. Another reason why you want to ask the location is because, like I said, depending on the distance, not only will you... I uh, want to make sure that you can get there. You want to make sure that there's no additional expenses besides gas to get there. Like I said, I'm in New York, but we do service like Connecticut and New Jersey, which require tolls. So whenever people book us and they're in Jersey or they're in Connecticut, they have to pay a toll fee because that money needs to come out of their pockets, not ours. So you want to ask those questions and maybe you can include those fees in your base price for the service, but you still want to get that solidified and let them know if there's an extra price. Another question you want to ask your customers is how many people are they expecting as far as attendees? I know for me and the small booth, I don't like to do too many people on one given event. So if they're going to expect like 3,500 people, I know of top at least 200 to 300 people might want to get on that might be too much for me i don't know if i can handle the crowd so it all depends i would it's rare that for the small events we do there'll be 2500 people um i don't know if you guys seen my last video where i discussed where it was about 2500 people that was a corporate event and thankfully not that many people got on but you definitely want to try to get the size that they're expecting to make sure that your booth could handle that traffic there's usually a long line of people waiting so you wanna make sure you can even handle that traffic. So definitely find out how many people they're expecting at this event. Another good question is what type of event is it? Is it a wedding? Is it a corporate event? Is it formal? Is it casual? The reason for this question, aside from just knowing, is because you wanna know how to dress. You might have like a certain uniform that you wear for your events, but if it's a wedding or something formal, you wanna make sure you come appropriately. So definitely find out the exact type of event they're gonna be having. Another great question that I feel like a lot of people miss, are there steps leading into the venue? And if so, is there an elevator that we can use? I feel like in my in the, in the beginning days, I used to forget to ask that question before my booking site was automated, but um, I still ask that question. And I actually make them check it off on a box because sometimes I might forget to ask it if it's a manual booking, but I still send them a link where they have to check that off. You want to know in advance because someone like me, like I might not be able to make it up a flight of steps alone. So if I'm expecting it, maybe I won't do the event alone. So you definitely want to find out if there are steps leading to any part of the venue that you need to access. And if so, is there an elevator available for your use? Another very important question you want to ask is for the contact information. Now, I just want to pause here for a second because in case you haven't seen any of my other videos, I have a private Facebook group strictly for photo booth entrepreneurs, whether, they're, whether they already have their booths or they're, they're aspiring to get a booth. This is a community for us where we discuss these types of things and we also do live classes and live tutorials. So our next upcoming live class is gonna be on how to create an automated booking site. I'm gonna be teaching everything I do in my own business as far as 
sending out links, sending out contracts. I make everything automated and I'm gonna be teaching the community how to do that. So the Facebook group is a private group, as I said. It is currently free for 30 days. Every month after that is $9.99. You can cancel at any time, no questions, no judgment. But by staying in the group, you get access to those classes for free. I also offer them here on YouTube. In the description below, you can find a link where you could either pay for the class or you can join the group and get the class for free. It's totally up to you, but I just want to throw that out there. So that's why I keep referring to Booking Sites because that's our focus this week. The class is going to be this coming Sunday, March 12, 2023 at 6 p.m. on Zoom. If you're in the group, you'll get the link in Zoom. If you choose to buy the class as a standalone class, then you'll get that link in your email. But as I was saying, another important piece of information, another question you wanna ask a potential customer is for their contact info. I cannot stress to you the amount of times we got to a venue, especially like a wedding. This actually happened yesterday. We got to a wedding yesterday and there were tons of other, it was like a huge fancy venue and they had other fancy formal events going on at the same time, including other, other weddings. But the people did not include the exact room that they would be in. But thankfully, they gave us a point of contact, an email, and a phone number, so I was able to reach the party planner to find out exactly where they wanted us to set up. So it's important that you get contact information for, if it's not the person booking, a point of contact for the day of the event because anything could go wrong and you wanna make sure that you can get in touch with them immediately if you have any questions. Another question you wanna ask your potential customer is, do they want overlays or music? It doesn't matter what type of booth you have. Most of the photo booths around these days allow for some type of customized overlay. Um, the 360s allow for music. So you wanna ask potential customers if this is something that they want. Not everybody wants an overlay, not everyone wants music, and you don't wanna assume. So you definitely wanna reach out to potential customers and ask them in advance. Do you want overlays? Do you want music? And then from there, whatever your system is, you decide how that overlay will be created, how that music will be added. But that is something you wanna get from the beginning so that you don't have to ask them questions about it as you get closer to the event. So the last question you wanna ask has to do with upselling. Now, when it comes to upselling, this is not something you do in the beginning of the transaction when the customer is just inquiring on your services. This is something you do when they're just about to pay. When they really are, you know, becoming an actual customer, you wanna, you wanna get them with some upsells. So upsells could be something like additional props. Um, some people upsell overlays, some people upsell music but you wanna upsell things that could bring you more money. Um, and you can maybe upsell backdrops. There's so many different things that you can include in your upselling tactics, but you wanna save this for close to last right before they pay so that you can tell them, oh, you know, we can enhance your experience with such and such. That's usually a fun part. They can either say yes or no, but by this time at the end, you already know that they're going forward with the booking no matter what. And now you're just trying to see what else you can get out of the transaction. Upselling is important because customers might not know that you offer these additional props or, you know, upsells that you're providing them with now. So it's important to bring that up at this point in the transaction. So yeah, those are the top questions you should ask potential customers. These are the top questions you'll probably get even before you get the booking. Even if you didn't ask them, they'll probably ask you anyway, but you wanna stay ahead of the game and let them know that you're knowledgeable by bringing it up first. So as I said, we have our booking site class coming up next Sunday, March 12th. If you're interested, make sure you click the link in the description and you can access either the Facebook group or the class. And as usual, thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at your.bff.stuff. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.